So I mentioned this last week, and I said I was going to talk about it. Where I'm, I'm under the belief um, that the one world currency um, that we're going to see is, I believe it's going to be this carbon uh, currency that they continue to talk about because the carbon currency will attach onto the the, the central bank digital currencies, and so you could have five hundred thousand, two thousand, however many. Uh, CBDCs that you want, but if they all run through carbon currency, uh, which that's the gist that I'm seeing right now as far as all the different central banks and what they're talking about, um, everything's going to run through a carbon currency system. Uh, it sounds like that that would be the one world currency. That's my opinion, not saying that's what's going to happen, but that's where I'm at now. And now we're seeing another step added onto this that we knew was going to be coming and now the eu has basically gotten this ready to go so the eu has agreed to implement a personal carbon tax on fossil fuels they are now going to make people pay for their carbon footprint uh we saw something like i said that was sneaking in before we've seen the different carbon credit cards that they've been putting out uh dichotomies one mastercard's got one uh, they got carbon footprint trackers. Australia, their bank, um, is now allowing people to, uh, uh, when they spend money, it actually ups their carbon. And now they're saying that you can uh, buy more carbon credits uh, from those banks. We're seeing this progression. And now the EU has basically said, hey, guess what? You're going to be paying for your carbon. So what they're trying to do is get people to stop buying, get people to stop driving, get people to latch on to the agenda that they've been wanting. And so gas and diesel fuels, along with gas and coal for heating and cooking, you know, your household type of stuff, uh, are all going to be taxed. They're all going to have a carbon tax. The more you use of it, the more you're going to pay. So like as far as the gas tax, that's just going to be put on as at the pump. So when you pump, they're going to throw it on there like we've got all the taxes on the stuff anyways, but they're going to throw another one on there. Uh, and then as far as heating and cooking and using it in your house, the higher your bill goes up, the more carbon tax is going to get thrown on top. So they're trying to reduce that as well. Uh, the extra carbon price will be added. Uh, one will be added. Uh, oh man, me and my handwriting. I should have been a doctor because I have the handwriting of a doctor. Uh, the extra carbon price will be added as another tax. Um, and for, like I said, bills and at the pump and everything like that so uh it's set as of now to begin in 2027 so this isn't something that's going to happen tomorrow uh it's not going to be happening next year and i say that with the um the intent that i believe it could kick off at any moment um but according to the law that they're putting forward uh, it's set to begin in 2027, and the EU Parliament hopes that this will push people away from their fossil fuels and gas cars right into their electric smart city trap. So the thing is, is if people can't afford, and this is always the, the question when it comes to this stuff, how are they going to get people to play along with the games? We know that there are a bunch of useful idiots out there. Uh, that's the term. Uh, that just follow along with it anyways. It's the new new thing. It's uh, we've got a it, It's I better stop there before I get into a tangent But we know there's people out there that just follow along with this stuff. They just do whatever they're told to do um, As far as this goes But how do you get other people to play along that are maybe questioning it or they're against it? How do you do that? Well, it sounds to me like what they're trying to do is they're trying to make everything so expensive that you're going to be begging for their smart city, their 15 minute city, their new agenda that you're going to be begging for this stuff because it's going to make your life easier uh, and it's going to cost less. So it's, it's kind of like they're funneling everything in, you know, have you ever seen the thing where it's, where it's a, a box and it just it like bottlenecks, it just keeps getting thinner or smaller and smaller and smaller until there's just a th tiny narrow way. Well, it sounds like that's what they're doing. They're trying to close everybody in where uh, the carbon tax or making everything super expensive or there's uh, shortages of things. When you start adding all this stuff together, it continues to get more narrow and it's gonna force people into the box that they want to. And 
if that doesn't work, then we know that they're doing some stuff as far as rewriting, uh, you know, DNA. They're doing the uh, human engineering stuff. We talked about that with what they plan to do with uh, meat allergies and whatnot. But that's what they're, that's what it seems to me like they're doing. They're forcing people into what they want to do.